Hello and welcome. Today we want to have a look at the meta model of Polarin and especially at the link rows. How you can define what work items can be linked with what other work items. So let's get started. To change the linking meta model in Polarin, we need to switch to the administration view and there we need to open a specific enumeration and it is the work item link role enum. This enumeration controls the complete meta model of Polarion regarding the link roles. Now, some things we see here on the screen may be clear, some others may not be at first glance. So let's go over it. The ID uh, represents the ID of the link role. The name is the information which is displayed on the screen when you, when you hover over a link. And you can see there is an opposite name. The opposite name is, depending on what item is selected, either you see the name or the opposite name, depending on the direction of the link. Then we can see the default column. The default column is the default link role which is created. So this means when you don't specify anything and you just link something, this link role will be pre-selected. What else do we see? There is this column called parent, and this is really a mystery for most Polarian configurators. Actually, it has nothing to do with parent-child links, but it indicates whether this link role should be included when doing calculations for calculated fields. So, meaning when you have calculated fields, they will only be calculated when you have a link role which has this checkbox checked. So what else do we have? The description field, I guess that's clear. This will show up when you hover over a link role. Um, the more interesting part is actually defining the relationships which are allowed between the work items. So let's have a closer look at this one. Based on the link role that you have selected in the top area, it will be highlighted with this orange bar. You can define the allowed links. In the first example for the parent work item type, you can see that this link role is only allowed between work items of the same type. Therefore, we use this same type checkbox. So let's have a look at the next link role, implements. We can see that the implements role is only allowed from task or issue work item type to work package, or from work package or issue work item type to system requirement or software requirement. The implements link role can only be created between the work item types that you have defined in this mapping. Let's assume this mapping is not sufficient for our project and we want to define a new mapping in which we can link tasks to change requests as well. So what we will do is we select in the first row from the from types the task and then in the column two types we will select change request and this will enhance our meta model and in future we can also create link between tasks and change requests. Okay, let's save it and see what happened. If we try to create an implementation task for our change request, it's still not possible. Why is that? We have defined it in the meta model. The reason is that in some cases when a form menu was defined for a work item and a form menu is actually defining what, uh, what menu is displayed when you click on the plus button and in our case this menu was defined and there was no entry for the implementation task so we need to change the menu to be able later on to create such an implementation task. The only thing we need to do is add a little entry here we name it implementing task, we provide the link role to be created and the work item type to be created when you click on that menu. And now, when we look at the change request work item, we can see that we can create an implementing task. And that's all for today, folks. I hope that helps you getting started with the Polarion linking meta model. See you next time.